right, so which of this right here is false? Ready? The answer is A. All right, so let's go over why B and C are true. Um, let's start with C first. This is just greater than four, which is just a two, right? And this no plus minus, it's just a two right here. And of course, right here, you can just cancel out the square and the square root. That's it, done. Now, why is B true? Well, it's kind of cute, right? Because we have two, 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 and right here, once we take the square root, we only have two twos. Yeah. But anyway, though, here's the deal. When we have the square root, and then when we have two to the two to the two, when we have this notation, it means that we take this as the power first, right? And then we do two to whatever that, that is. I'm not going to work it out. I know it's four, but like, let's not work it out. Here's the deal. When we take the square root, this right here is the same as the one half power, and then we have two to the two to the two. So we can then multiply this and that together. So we're looking at two raised to the one over two times two to the two. And now you can use the rule of exponent because this is, I say, two to the negative one. I know this is like more complicated than it has to, but bear with me. Yeah, and then if you multiply this, you add the exponents and you, you get two to the first power right here, right? So finally, it's just two to the two. Yay, done. So this right here is true, likewise, that is true. And of course, by the law of multiple choice, A has to be false. Well, of course, let's also talk about why A is false. It's also kind of cute because here, originally, we have four twos in the square root, and then outside here, we have three twos, but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. So let's do the same thing like what we did earlier. So in this case, we will have to look at that, right? And I will just look at square root of two to the two to the two to the two. And again, this is the same as the one half power. So I can just say two to the one half power times this thing, two to the two to the two. And uh, unfortunately, this right here just doesn't really work out anything nice. This is just two to the negative one. And uh, this is two to the two to the two. So I'm not really sure how we can simplify. If you want, you can write it as two to the two, and then you add the exponent. So it's two to the two minus one, which is three. But like, if you just want to write everything in the power form, then that would be it. But yeah, so that would be the correction. Of course, you worked out that's three, two to the third power is eight. So this is two to the eighth power. You can figure out what that is. It's um, 256. Yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So here's a question for you guys though. Um, I don't know. That's it.